Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install and set up the Citizens Command plugin so that you can have NPCs in game that run commands like so. So, let's get straight into it. So, to run the plugin Citizens commands, you need to install the plugin Citizens as it says here. So we already have a tutorial on this plugin and there'll be a link to this plugin down in the description below along with a link to the tutorial that we've made on this in the past. So make sure you've watched those videos and got this installed before you go ahead and continue with this tutorial. So once you're running citizens on your server, you can go ahead and install citizens command. So to do this, go to the control panel for your Minecraft server, ensure that you're running spigot, go to the plugins tab, go to spigot plugins and search for citizens cmd and then click install latest. Then once that's installed, restart your server. Once your server has finished restarting, we can go ahead and join. So once you've installed citizens command on your server, we can go ahead and take a look at how it works. So I've previously set up this server pro NPC so that when I right click it, it runs a command in the console where it will say something in the chat and it will warp me to a different warp point. So if I right click it, you can see it says Hey, how are you doing? And warp to NPC. So let's configure one of my other NPCs to do the exact same thing so you can understand how it works. So I'm going to add these commands as well to Steve. So to do this, type NPC MD and then you can view all the commands which are available. So we're going to be going over each of these now in this tutorial. So to first add a command to Steve, I'm going to select him. So you need to type forward slash NPC select and then the name of the NPC. So now that I have selected Steve, I can add a command to him. So let's do NPC MD add. So this means we're going to add a command to that NPC. And then we're going to select console as we're going to be running the command from the console. And then we're going to type the command. So let's put say, I hope you're having a great day. And then if I click enter, that will add the command to the NPC. So now let's test it. If we right click him, you can see that it has run that command successfully and we can see it run. So let's add the warp command as well. So let's do slash NPC MD again, console, and then we're going to warp the player that's clicking the NPC to the warp point NPC, which I've created. So warp NPC, so we're going to warp this player to NPC, and then we're going to put percent %p percent. So percent %p percent stands for the player name. So that will replace that with the player name who clicks it. So if I was to enter that, right click, it takes me to that warp point that I've created. So now that we've added those two commands to that NPC, let's say we wanted to change one of them. So to do this, type slash NPC MD list, and this lists all the commands that we've added to the NPC. So let's say I wanted to edit the first one. You would type NPC MD edit, and then command, and then ID, so the ID is one. And then we're going to type the new command that we want it to do. So I'm going to put say, I hope you're having a great day and we're going to add the player name to this as well. So if we did that and then if we right click the NPC it should warp me and say the updated command. So as you can see it said the command and it added my username and it warped me to the NPC as it should do. So let's say we wanted to remove the command for the warp from this NPC. You would type slash NPC MD remove and then you type the ID of the command you want to remove. So in this case, the warp one is two. So if I wanted to remove it, I would type two and then that removes it. So if I was to right click this NPC, it only does that. And if we type the list, it only lists one now. So once you've made all the changes to the NPC commands and you've got them all configured the way you want to, it's good to run slash NPC MD reload as that will save and reload all the messages you just added. So that's basically how you use Citizen CMD in game. It's a fantastic plugin. It's really simple and it has some awesome features. So if you need any help with this plugin or you run into any issues, be sure to contact our support team. We'll have a link to where you can contact them down in the description below. And feel free to suggest any new tutorials you'd like to see in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.